Hi, this is John Sorensen with Share Life Today. And as you know, we've been talking about this mission trip to Zambia. We've been taking a little different angle uh, each video that we put up. And uh, so this one that we're going to focus on today, uh, this is one of the young men that works for our ministry. His name's Justin Mitchell. And uh, Justin's really grown up around the ministry of EE. I, uh, I think you've known about EE your whole life. Yeah, you've been involved yeah. in it since you were a young man. And yet, God's really called you into the ministry, but in a very unique way, and that is in this whole video, videographer, editing, telling stories through video. Um, and where did this come from in your life? You know, the, the, the love for video, the love for editing, the love for storytelling in this way. Um, I mean, I grew up messing with cameras and all sorts of technology, and I guess I kind of just was looking for a way to channel that. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do when I first graduated high school and went to college. And slowly, I think it was just revealed to me that I can use this passion I have to do work for the Lord and it'll be something I enjoy as well. Uh, now here was a surprise. You you showed up, or maybe it was before you showed up. You're on your way. I I don't remember when I said it to you, but I said, uh, Justin, you can't just be the guy behind the camera. Yeah. You've got to actually train a team, take them out. What were your thoughts about that? Well, at, at first I was, well, maybe not just at first, the whole time I was pretty nervous about it. Um, I'm comfortable behind the camera, not um, teaching or taking people out on OJT. But once we got started and seeing how excited everybody was mm -hmm. to be there and to learn to share their faith, it, it definitely became easier and I was really pleased and happy with what, we, what I got to do. So yep. just tell us about who you've got here. Yeah, this is um, Barbara, another Justin, uh, Joachim and William, and they're all part of the Zambia music ministry. Mm -hmm. um, and I was talking to them the first day, asking if they had ever shared their faith with anybody. They, they said no. They were really excited to learn how to do it. And um, then the next day, we went out on OJT, and they were still excited, but you could tell they were nervous too. And it was it was a great experience because we we left the compound and we go out in the dirt road and make our first right, and there's somebody just standing in the middle of the road there. So it's like, okay, God put someone there. <laughs> That's who we have to talk to. And we led him to the Lord right right there. And you can see um, Justin, uh, I think that's jockeying behind him. So this is William witnessing with another guy. He actually came up while we were witnessing to the, the previous man. Uh, he also prayed to receive Christ at the end. He actually came up um, and heard what we were talking about and pulled a book out of his back pocket. And it, it just said God on it. I think it was some book. He's like, oh, I'm a man of God. And I'm like, great, well, come listen to what we have to say. And we asked him the two diagnostic questions, and he gave a works answer. So we're like, well, you should come listen. And at the end, um, we had to go through it a little bit more with him again because he had missed the first part, but he prayed to receive. Oh, that's Christ. fantastic. Yeah. It is one of the most amazing things about Africa is how open people are to to, to chatting and to the gospel. And, and, you know, you'll start a conversation, like you said, another one will walk up while yeah. you're talking and they'll be genuinely interested. And um, literally you could stand there all day long and just talk to people as they keep coming mm -hmm. up. So what's your burden for Africa, being that your, your roots are there, you're from there, what would you like to see happen there in the coming days? Well, I mean, I'd love to see people continue to get trained to share their faith because then they'll go out and share and more and more people will come to a, a true saving faith in Jesus, not just like yeah. the, the head knowledge that we say, but that mm -hmm. they actually know that it's not, they don't rely on themselves. If you had the chance to talk to some folks that are maybe on their, on their fence, they're thinking about something like this, they felt God tug at them a little bit, what would you tell them to do? Well, first off, it's amazing to see what you can do by going to this, a country like this and um, using what you know to teach other people. Uh, secondly, you, you don't get an experience like this any other way. You can visit Zambia and you'd, you'd go to the nice lodges and you'd go see Victoria Falls. You wouldn't necessarily see how the people live and get to know them and see them every day, walk the dirt roads that they walk on. So yeah. I think this is just a very unique opportunity to, to get to see that side of the world. Well, Justin, uh, thank you for what you're doing, for the investment that you're making here. Uh, I know a lot of the things that we do are just pretty things that have to just get done, you know. They're, they're not using the storytelling capacity to the, to the, but I hope and pray that in the coming days we can do more of this to where you can really uh, tell some stories that touch people's hearts. I, I know that uh, they'll be excited to see what, what you can do with that. And so 
pray for your team and yes. uh, and keep praying for the folks in Africa. And um, again, be encouraged that we've got a whole team of people at EE that don't just talk about this kind of thing, but they do it. And uh, so you bless my heart in all this, Justin. Great. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.